I would like to say that I've never seen anybody thankless today. But I can't say that. I'd like to say to you that I think that I think thanklessness is the thing of the past and it won't be again. But I can't say that. And I want you to look at God's Word with me in a Scripture that's kind of discouraging, but I want you to look at and hang there with me. It's going to end good. Go to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy. And if you get to Titus and Hebrews, you went too far. You go to 2 Timothy and look in the third chapter. I'll give you a minute to find it. I'm just going to just a couple verses. This won't take very long. Chapter 3, start with verse 1. But realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. How many know we're in the last days? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're in the last days. We're closer to the last days now than we've ever been. That's a fair statement, isn't it? Paul could have said that. My great-grandpa could have said that. Today I say that. And we were all true. We're closer toward the last days than anybody has ever been. But realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. For men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, revilers, disobedience to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable. You know what that means is? That means they got a fuss and there's no fixing it. Neither, nobody's going to say, I'm sorry. Malicious gossips without self-control. They're going to be brutal, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. They're still holding fast to a form of godliness though they have denied its power. And he says, avoid such men as these. Among all of those awful attributes that could be said about the people that just absolutely turn from God God, in every way they can, look and see what's right in the middle of all of those characteristics. Disobedient to parents. Ungrateful. Hmm. Ungrateful lies right in the midst of the awfulest muck and mire, the awfulest attributes that you or I could take on ourselves. Right in the midst of it is ungrateful. You think being ungrateful, you think maybe that's a social slip or something. But God tells us in His Word that when, when you find some situation where there's no gratitude, you're in a place where there's not much God in the life of that person. Because if you've got a life filled with God, one thing's for sure, you're going to be thankful. You're going to be grateful. You get around a Christian, a born-again, Jesus-filled, blood-washed saint of God, they're so thankful they can get on your nerves. I remember when John Paul was little, we, he, we would pray over the food. And he'd say, Jesus, thank you for the meatloaf. And thank you for the taters. And thank you for the tea. We thought, Amen. And thank you for the rolls. And we're thinking, Amen. And thank you for the plates. We're thinking, That's right. And thank you for the saucers. And thank you for the forks. And thank you for the spoon. Thank you for my mom. Thank you for dad. Thank you for the tablecloth. We're going all right already, but he's not done. He's just thanking and thanking and thanking and thanking and thanking and thanking and thanking. And finally, when a cook, you think the food's going to be cold and he's still thanking God. Why? Because when our heart is right with God, we're thankful. Amen. The joy of the Lord, which is our strength, is fed by our gratitude. Amen. How many of you had a pet and you don't feed them, come back six months, see how they're doing? They're dead. Mm -hmm. Dead. Right. Unless it's a pet rock, you've lost, <laughs> your, you've lost your pet. If it's a pet rock, we need to talk after service. i got some property for sale. <laughs> If you don't feed what's growing in you, it's going to die. If you're a saint of God, you say, I'm a, a saint of God, but I'm ungrateful. Let me tell you something. You're either a dead or a dying saint. That's right. You say, well, I don't tell my wife I love her. I told her that 57 years ago. I told her, I love her, baby. You know it. Amen. I do. I don't say it. I do. And that's all I need to say. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I'm glad I'm not married to you. <laughs> Listen, gee, my wife said me too. Listen, I'm telling you something. I've told you this before. You need to slack around on your wife. 
You to get around and hug her neck, and nibble on her ear, and kiss on her neck, and, and tell her she's the baby doll, the sugar plum, the sweetest thing there ever was. You need to tell her your heart still burns, and you still have a desire to love her and chase her around the house, and tell her she's beautiful, and magnificent. You need to work at it. You say, well, she knows. If you're counting on her to know, then you're unthankful. If you're unthankful, you need God. Your marriage, because I got to tell you something. You may think your marriage is fine, but I got to tell you something. You talk to the other partner, they're gonna tell you a little fire wouldn't hurt nothing once in a while. Amen. 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 Don't tell me you're a Christian. You're not thankful because I, you know, you're, too, you know, it's like being a stripper for Jesus. You can be one, you can be the other, but you can't be the both. If you're unthankful, you, you, if you're unthankful, I want you to look at what else, what else is surrounding that unthankfulness. See, you, if you're unthankful, you put up with it. Let me tell you something. Ungodliness is not far away. All those other things that you go, oh no, I'm not that bad. They're all close neighbors. Being thankful is something you've got to absolutely determine in your heart by the grace of God, I am not going to be. Have you ever been with anybody unthankful? Have you ever been with anybody and they just see the worst about it? Well, somebody give them a million dollars and they say, well, yeah, but now I'm going to have to pay taxes. I better win it. I better have to pay taxes. I better win it. You just want to slap them. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't have where that came from. Help me, Lord. 